Hey, what's up guys? Um, I am filming sort of a day in the life of, and day in the life of includes eating. So I am doing a salad for my brunch, I guess you would call it. Um, I didn't want to wait until lunchtime. I've got some other stuff to do, so I'm going to eat now and um, have some greens. So. Everybody always says when I post my salads, oh my god, that's so huge. How do you eat all that? Oh my god, I could never eat that much. So I wanted to give you all a, a sense of, you know, how much it really is uh, in terms of measurements and weights because it really is not that much. It looks like a lot, um, probably because of the bowl I use, which is really large and flat. It's almost like a plate. And so um, I weighed and measured everything beforehand. Today I am using one of these, which is a Mediterranean tuna. Uh, it, doesn't, it does have um, tomato, sun-dried tomatoes in it, pe bell pepper, and um, olive oil. So it's the better of the gourmet series for Starkist. Uh, I like it every once in a while for a change. So it's got 150 calories, 9 grams of fat, 14 protein, and 2 carbs, but 0.5 of that is fiber, and I do net carbs, so it's only 1.5 uh, total carbs, net carbs for me. So there's that. Then I'm having a piece of cheese. Piece of cheese. Uh, Garlic and Herb Jack by Sargento. This is uh, 60 calories, 5 fat, 4 protein, and 1 carb. I like the way it tastes occasionally. I am a feta freak. I really like my feta, but I'm going to have one of these with the tuna. The next thing would be greens. Now what I did was I used a half and half mix. And on the back, when you look at it, it says serving size is one container. Uh, I'm not eating the whole container today. Uh, that's 156 grams. So if you're <clears throat> figuring, I figure my one serving is about 42 grams of greens, which is a fair amount. So that's probably as much as you need. So what you do is it's 35 calories. You have 156 grams. Now you have to do some math. So get your calculator or pull out your phone and divide 35 calories by 156 grams. That is going to give you the amount per gram. So the amount of calories per gram. Then you multiply that by the number of grams you're going to eat. So I'm eating 42 grams, so I would multiply whatever that number is, which would be 0, .0 something something, by 42, and I come up with... 9.4 calories for the serving that I'm eating. You do that for all the numbers. So there's zero fat, so you don't have to do anything there. There's four protein, so you divide four by the number of grams for one serving, which is the whole container, which we're not eating. Once you get that number, 0, 0.0, whatever, whatever, you multiply that by 42, I got uh, 1.07. That's the amount of protein in that serving. And then you do the same for carbs. Now, it's five carbs, two dietary fiber, so it's three working for me net carbs. You, you divide that by 156, and you get your number, and then you multiply that by 42. So I came up with, for carbs, it's 0.8 for that serving. So that's how you do your greens. Now, most greens, if you're buying them boxed or bagged, are going to have serving size and all that. So sometimes the serving size is different than one full box. They'll do a serving size as 85 grams or something of that nature. So just go by whatever's on there. Next thing was uh, a pickle. So I went exactly by what they said a serving size was. Now, on these pickles, it says about one pickle. I don't trust about. So it also gives you grams, 28 grams. So I have my little scale here. 
And what I did was I basically measured everything and then just zeroed it out to measure the next thing. Actually, about one pickle turns out to be one and like a quarter of a pickle, which is 28 grams. So I measured that out. I did the same for my olives, which uh, one serving was about seven olives, which was 15 grams. So I used the grams instead and it came out to six olives and okra. So the okra said about two pieces, 28 grams, measured out the grams, came out to two and three quarter okra. So once I got done with that, then I did the stuff that's not labeled. So I did cucumber, yellow squash, broccoli, and avocado. And what I did was I just cut a piece off, right, a small piece, but that big, of yellow squash. That's usually about four or five slices once you cut it up. See, there's my cucumber. And then you, I weighed it separately from everything else. I got the grams, so that is uh, 29 grams of cucumber, 22 grams of yellow squash, and 10 grams of broccoli. And what you do is you go to Google, in the search bar, type in 29 grams cucumber nutrition. Hit enter, and on the right hand side, a little chart will come up, and it'll tell you exactly how much uh, calories, fat, protein, and carbs for that exact amount. It's a wonder. It's a miracle. It doesn't work for every single vegetable, but it does work on the most used ones. For the yellow squash, just type in 22 grams squash nutrition. That'll come up. You just do all the numbers for that. Same with broccoli, 22 grams broccoli nutrition. It'll come up. Now, I never trust when, like, my fitness pal or whatever, you put in half of an avocado and they give you a stock number. All avocados are different sizes, and when you cut it in half, it's not mathematical. You're not going to get exactly half an avocado. So what I do is I take out the, the fruit, the meat, and I weigh it to see how much it weighs. And you can do the exact same thing with the Google calculator thing. It was 46 grams of avocado. It only came out, see, they tell you it's like 200 and some for ha half an avocado. 74 calories for that much avocado, one carb. So don't trust my fitness pal. Don't trust any programs you're using that might give you stock numbers. I've been doing this for a long time, and the nutrition calculator through Google that gives you the exact numbers has always been really close um, when you do like an average. So I trust that more than anything. So that, my friends, is all of my veg. I have my protein and my cheese, and then I have two tablespoons of Bolt House Farms avocado cilantro. I love this stuff. And two tablespoons, only has one carb. Um, it has a list of, you know, it has a pretty big list of stuff that's in it. For me, as somebody that's already a goal, this is something I give to myself. It's not going to kill you. You know, I like it. It tastes good, and it makes eating my salad more enjoyable. So it's one of those concessions you make for yourself. You have to decide. There's blue cheese out there by Marie's that's also good. Or you can just use oil. Make sure you're measuring, though. Um, I always like to measure my oil before I pour it on because your eyeball's not calibrated. You don't know how much you're pouring. So... Uh, make sure you measure out whatever your whatever kind of oil or fat or whatever you're using on your salad. I also have these uh, Bragg sprinkles that I like. I'm all out of my seed mixture, everything but the bagel, which I adore from Trader Joe's. I have not been up there lately, so I haven't bought any. But I like to sprinkle some of this on. 
it, it has all zeros. So, I mean, don't go hog wild and use a whole bottle, but um, you can pretty use this pretty liberally. And then I also will use a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Now, this whole conglomeration comes out to 385.4 calories, 27.6 fat, 21.8 protein, and 8.9 carbs. Now, if you're doing 20 net carbs a day, you can have this big salad for lunch and then do a simple uh, steamed veggie with, you know, four ounces of beef or meat or whatever for dinner and have your bulletproof in the morning or switch it up and have eggs or your other big protein in the morning and have a lighter dinner. So, I mean, there's, there's a lot of options, but this, I find for me, helps keep me regular. Uh, it supplies a lot of micronutrients um, and a lot of the stuff that I need. So that's what y'all wanted to know. And just to show you, everything is written down, because that's what I do. And um, I mean, I, do, I, I did do that. That's what I, I started doing because I was, I was goal oriented and I was focused on what I wanted my body to do. So I thought, you know, greens are integral in what I need. And um, even with weight loss surgery, even having gastric bypass, you need, you need veg. And but I'm 10 years out, so I can do raw. I know when I started, I couldn't digest, I had a really hard time digesting raw vegetables. So if you want to do a salad, but you can't do raw, try blanching uh, your broccoli or um, your squash, you know, cook it down so that it's broken down a little more and you can digest it. Um, things like pickles and stuff like that. I don't remember, I don't think I ate a lot of pickles in the beginning. Um, but olives are fairly easy to digest, maybe not okra, but you can, you have to tweak your diet, you have to find what you like and try to make it work. So that's my brunch and I will talk to y'all in a little while. Okay, bye.